all right everyone um i'm not saying i'm back just for the sake i'm saying i'm back but i'm back so um, i'm using code server it's an alternative to visual studio code but this one is for mobile phones or tablets and i'm gonna go to the termux terminal the back end for the code server and i'm gonna list the files in the directory and i'm gonna show you how to start the, the ubuntu server I'll probably have to make another video to show you how to download the Ubuntu server and you know launch it. But for now, I'm just going to launch it with this script. All right, so right now we're in the local host of the Ubuntu server, and now we can launch Code Server or Visual Studio Code. All right, so I prepared some notes in advance, and this one is going to download. Um, the node version ma manager is basically node.js so we can use it in Termux excellent yep here we go Alright, so we successfully downloaded um, the node version man manager, so now we can just um, save it in our um, bash.rc file and save the changes. Alright, so I'm going to use this command to list all the, the versions of Node.js and choose which one is the latest or most stable. Alright, as you can see we have um, plenty of versions of Node.js and this one says 18 long term support. I mean we could use it but we're not going to use it here. Um, th this one is version 20, we could use it also but not now. And this one is version 22 and it's also long-term support so we're going to choose that one excellent we now have node.js installed on our system well or ubuntu server for linux all right so right now we're going to check to see if we can recognize if node.js is in installed or not on our vs code or code server Alright, so for some reason it's not recognizing that Node.js was installed. I mean, it's probably because we did not restart the code server so we can recognize the changes. But I just wanted to show you so you know what to expect if things go wrong. Just like in this case. Alright, so as you can see in the, in the terminal, Node.js is being recognized. So it's just that we need to restart the server for co the code server. Alright, so I'm gonna try to reload the window, but this will not uh, fix any fix the problem. But I just want to show you that this this is not a solution, so you know what to expect. So even though we, we reloaded the window and check for the uh, no JS in the terminal, it still says "come on, not found." Alright, I'm just showing you how to learn from the mistakes. Alright, so I'm gonna show you that NPM is being recognized also in Termux. So the back end is working. So we just need to restart the front end to connect to the back end. So I have two Termux sessions. This session is running the Termux server. I mean the, the code server server or VS code. So I'm gonna restart it or exit it and go back into it. Well I'm gonna exit all of them anyway. and launch back Termux. All right, so I edited my, my bash RC script to launch the Ubuntu server automatically. I'll show you to do that in the future anyway. All right, so right now we're in the local host of the Ubuntu server. We didn't have to launch the Ubuntu using a script this time. 
All right, so I'm gonna list all the files in the directory and uh, try to see if I can launch um, code server or Visual Studio code in one command. All right, so as I said before, I prepared some notes. So this command is to start the VS code, Visual Studio code in one prompt. If you wanna speak in um, ChatGPT terms. All right, so this should launch the code server in one prompt and it started. So right now we just need to launch back the front end for Visual Studio Code and everything should work. And that's it, that's Code Server right there. All right, so hopefully everything should work this time and it did. So Node.js is successfully installed and it's been recognized and NPM also. All right, so that's how you set up Node.js to work with Code Server using Termux and Code Server.